Hi, welcome to PetMyProject.com. The title of our project is Improving Security and Efficiency in Attribute Based Data Sharing in the Domain Data Mining. Let's see the brief explanation about our project. Attribute Based Encryption is a promising cryptographic approach that achieves a fine grained data access control. It provides a way of defining an access policy based on different attributes of the requester, environment, or the data object. Especially, Chipotex policy attribute based encryption enables encryptor to define the attributor as a set of universe of attributes that a decryptor need to process in order to decrypt the Chipotex and enforce it on the con In our existing method, storing data on un untrusted storage makes secure data sharing a challenge issue. The confidentiality of sensitive data should be protected against. Only the encrypted data are stored on storage secure. The main challenge for cryptographic method includes simultaneous achieving system. We enable the data owner to delegate most computation to an untrusted server. In this paper, we propose the novel chipper text policies of attribute-based encryption scheme for secure data sharing system with future for the following achievement. First, the key escrow pro problem is resolved by key issuing protocol that exploit the characteristics of data sharing system architecture. We propose attribute-based data sharing scheme to enable a force a fine-grained data access control by exploring the characteristics of the data sharing system. The proposed scheme feature key issuing mechanism that remove a key scroll during the key generation to party computation such that any curious key generation center or data sharing center cannot derive the pri private key individually. Thus, the proposed scheme enhances the data privacy and confidentiality in the data sharing system against the system manager without corresponding credential. The proposed scheme can do immediate user revocation on each attribution set while taking the full advantage of the scalable access provided by the chipper text policy attribute based encryption Let's see the flowchart of our of our project this is a flowchart diagram here we have an user one and the key generation center the key generation center will generate the key will get the two kinds of key that is a private key and then public key using the one those keys will be get stored in our data center and using our public key we will encrypt our data and the encrypted data will be broadcasted now the user 1 will see send the encrypted data to the user 2. Now the user 2 will be have an encrypted message will be going for now validation. Validation is done with the help of that database and using this private key our message is get decrypted. This is about our flowchart diagram. Let's see the demo of our project. This is our first model that is crypto encryption method. Here we, this is our user 1 part and, and this is our user 2 part. In the middle, we have the key generation center and the data sharing center. We are not confident with the, with the data sharing that is on the server part. Since the server can hack the file, so the key generation center generates the two keys that is on public key and private key. Both the keys are generated using the RSA algorithm. The key has been generated and stored in our key generation center. At the user part, one path, the data will be shared with the encrypted message. After the validation, that will be the valid user can access the file that is using our fine grain data access control only the authorized users can access the file at the user one part the user can access the file and the user can access our data at the user two using our private key the data can access user can view the decrypted message over here you can see the brief demo here we have an open file dialog box the file which we our user can choose will be will be selected by clicking on this button this is our key generation button with the help of this key generation button both the public key and private key has been generated and, and stored in our database that is our key, ge key generation storage this is our encryption button this encrypted file will be get transmitted and this is our decryption this, and this is save button the file is get saved and um, the saved uh, file will be get uh, transferred over there when i click on this uh, 
open file dialog button. I'm just choosing this file. My file will be get loaded over here. When I click on this generate button, my key has been generated over here. And when I click on that is I got an information that is key generated successfully by both the public key and private key has been generated. Using my public key now I am going to enter my message. Here my list of files will be get displayed. I am choosing my own file. Now my I got an encrypted message for my file over here. I am just saving my data. My file have been saved. Now I am going to click on this next button. Here I am choosing my own file here. That is the data is going to transfer over here. I am just clicking this is our data sharing center. The data will be shared by two users. That is the user 1 and the user 2. Now the user 1 is going to transfer this file to the user 2. I am just clicking giving my own IP address. And this is how the user 1 part. Now the user is going to transfer the file to a user 2. At the user 2 end the status will be get idle. That is no data has been received at the user 2. When I click on this send file the data is going to get transferred just uh, we are getting the updates for the each uh, transmission of an file well, now the file has been transmitted successfully here i got a status as data has been received when i click on this next button this is our validation button this, that is actually a fine grain data access only the authorized users can access the file now i got my on um, this validation with my ip address i got my own file over here when i click on this valid when the validation is get success you can decrypt the file uh, get an access can access the file when i click on this get the key button my list of file has been displayed here i have to choose my own file and i'm going to decrypt my own file here the my my own file has been decrypted using our private key this is about our project thank you